The annoying thing about Clocker is that they don't turn into an actual clock, but they are secondhand. I saw Clocker for the first time through a sales thread on Twitter by artist Nate Phoenix, please check them out, and I thought, who's that at the front there? There was no listing or name for that specific wee guy. So I took a screenshot and a Google image searched it and found it was Cybertron Clocker. Did you know you could do that? Avoid annoying folks on Twitter by asking them what a toy is instead of looking it up yourself? Food for thought. I did think at first this was a knockoff or something because there's something about that colour scheme, isn't there? It looks like something you'd get in home bargains. Not a bad thing by any means, but it definitely didn't feel official to me. And it certainly didn't feel official when I got it. There's a lightness to it, a pliant, bendy plastic that doesn't really feel in line with other toys I've had in the Cybertron line. You know, maybe I need to try some more. But that doesn't stop Clocker being pretty decent all in. He's all ball joints, so you can get some decent poses, but he cannot dab, so ultimately one out of ten. These hot rod style exhausts can be spun around or indeed taken off and put on the other side, creating some Wolverine-esque claws. And we've got this cyber briefcase, plank a cyber planet key into the back and spladoinkle. We've got the makings of a gun. Fold out the barrels and we're there. Yeah, he's pretty gappy and hollow in places, but for a scout class toy, what more can you really expect? Get over yourself. Clocker's okay in this mode, nothing necessarily to put a pineapple in your pants, but the vehicle mode is much more interesting. Getting there's really simple, although that plastic, honestly, you feel it's going to come apart in your hands at times. Vehicle mode is a Velocitronian open-topped race car, and I know this will likely be a divisive design, but I do like it, it's something different. I like the fact we've got these little moulded in seats for zero reason, it's genuinely just a fun little car, imagine tooling around town on this thing. The back end still works as a gun, get the key in there, and you've got a battle mode, folks. Drink it in. Clocker's a bit of a roller coaster. Really awkward first impressions have given way to equally awkward realizations, but in a good way. He's a little weirdo, and I'm up for that. Cheerio!